still a little long at top. So the reason why, like I said, yeah, the reason why I want to go and swing not only because, well, the reason why it's kind of why you're going down so much. So you're bringing it up, you're going all the way past parallel because you a lot of flexibility in the shoulders, but what happens is you're bringing, your hands are getting away from your body too much out here. And you come like this, so it's causing you to come down steep, and that's why you're coming down, you know, swing up to the left. That's why you're kind of you're missing, starting left, coming back way to right. So okay. you want to see more close to your body, shorter, and this is about as far as I want you to go. Okay. So it's going to feel short, it's going to feel like you're probably coming to like right here. It's going to feel different for a little bit, but I want you to start trying that a little bit just so we can kind of get you used to coming, coming up shorter. Okay. So, one where you're really feeling like you're going to be shooting at, it's right there. Right there. takeaway with my hands close to my body okay because I get very disconnected okay. and that's a big part of the reason I think I come across it could be wrong but my main swing thought is typically on the takeaway making sure I keep my hands close to my body instead of getting disconnected all right so our goal with having a routine is we want to minimize as many thoughts as possible off the tee so that's right. really something I really think you can improve on so it's just two five shots like you're in there right down right down the fairway just to go through your whole routine okay let's make we're gonna make a fairway between the red flag and the tree it's okay. pretty wide but we're gonna get it we're gonna start up big and then we're gonna narrow it down each time so five shots right here all right Matt. go through your routine go through anything and we'll try to eliminate all the thoughts just stand up step up and hitting it trust the routine new hole Just missed that bunker. I think it'll be a really good tee ball. You want to try the safe play now? Yep, so now we're on the safe play. Drive nine, which you said was one of your best clubs in the bag, correct? Lately, yeah. Driver paid off that time. We did just barely miss that bunker, but it ended up being a really good shot down the fairway. So, aggressive play does work out sometimes. On a short hole like this, I would recommend more going with the club you trust. I agree. You're I mean, maybe 150 out after that. You got a little flip wedge in with your pitcher wedge. You avoid, you avoid all the trees, letting the water's not in your way. So, that's just to show you the game management. You know, Perfect. sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta step there, you gotta keep the driver in the bag. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, Keep moving here. All right, thank Keep you. Nice play going. Let's do it. Coming a little heavy. I see your clubs up a little like, vertical. Still. Okay. So I feel like that's why you might bring it down a little, a little steep. What I want you to do is I want you to open the face a little bit just to kind of increase the, the balance of the club. Mm -hmm. Lower the shaft just a little bit, and I feel like that's going to help you level out. Level out your plan there, chips. That makes sense. And the last thing, I don't want to put too many things in your head. Last thing I want you to start the waist a little forward and try that out for me. Okay. Way a little forward. Okay. Uh, let's say I tell you, I'm standing right there, I tell you, throw the ball to me. Okay. You throw the ball to me. You're going to be like, how far away are you first? No. Yeah, exactly, right? So we have this instinct to just know about how far things are, like depth perception. So a grid drill I like to do, just to really judge distance, not just step away for one sec. It's just a fun drill I like to do, just pick different distances. I have no idea what the distances are, but I'm just going to try and get as close as I can with them. Just a field drill? Just by looking, exactly, just a field drill, just by looking at it. <laughs> okay. So I think that's about, you know, 40 yards away or something. 
Pretty close. Right. Now I'm just going to change it up. I'm going to go this flag over here. It's a little further. Looks about a little further. So like, just keep doing that, just keep picking different targets, back to back, and just keep kind of trying to see how close you get. So not, not even know the distance, just by judging the distance yourself. Alright, so, nine pole, I'm going to finish this nine off strong, a little bit of a lengthy chip here, so, do pretty good, you're playing really well, we want to hold on here, I know we're getting bad shots kind of losing focus here but we got to keep focus we wanna, we're not focusing on the end game we just want one shot at a time here so it's uh it's a good good uh good time to bring back what we did in the last lesson about you know throwing the ball right you know how i feel feeling, feeling the distance feel, you know I, I don't ask you how far away if you're standing right there if i want to throw i'm not going to ask you how far it is i'm just going to throw it to you because i naturally know how so let's use that on here on this chip here you know i want to take a couple pr couple practice swings like you're going to Trying to gauge how hard how hard to hit it to get that ball right to the pin. One more for me. Make sure you do your routine. Trying to figure out how far you gotta throw that ball to get to the pin.